Today I'll show you how you can integrate your Google business profile with OpenAI so that you can automate the process of creating these posts. So basically, I am going to add the title of this post as well as the image URL in my Google Sheets and then I will connect this Google Sheets with OpenAI application. So what will happen? This title as well as the image URL will be picked automatically from this sheet and an article will be generated automatically using OpenAI and the same article will be posted here automatically. Yes, you just need to build a connection in these three applications with the help of an automation software that is Pabli Connect. And once that automation is ready inside this software, after that you do not have to do anything manually because every time you will add the post here, those posts will be added here, will be posted here automatically on your Google. Google business profile. Now how you can automate this process? So firstly create this spreadsheet and add the titles as well as the image URL. Then create a free account in this OpenAI as well as in this Pabli Connect software. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. I am an existing user so I am already logged in here and once this spreadsheet is ready and the account is ready in OpenAI, log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and then directly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So here I have directly pasted the name as automatically post Google business profile post and then it will ask you to select the folder in which you want to create your automation workflow. So I am selecting this main workflow folder. Now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes. Okay. So these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever i add any topic and image url in this google sheets this automation should the trigger or we can say the data should be captured via Pabli Connect of Google Sheets. So that is why I am selecting the same application as the trigger application. Further, I want that those topics as well as the image URL should be sent to OpenAI so that it can generate those posts automatically. So that is why I'm selecting the same application. And once that content is ready, I would like to post that content on my Google business profile. Basically, I would like to to optimize my Google business profile. Okay, so that is why I'm selecting the same application once again as the action application. Okay, so in this way, by clicking on this plus icon, you can add as many as action steps as you want and connect to different applications and automate the complex business processes. Okay, so here I will be connecting these three applications one by one with the Pabli Connect. So let's first connect to Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect. So firstly, I'll selecting the I will be selecting the trigger event that is your updated spreadsheet row and you will notice a webhook URL along with few set of instructions will be received here. So you will have to follow these instructions one by one and with the help of this URL we are going to connect Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect. So I have copied this webhook URL. Now I will go back to the Google Sheets in which I have my data. Then clicking on extension, clicking on add-ons, clicking on get add-ons. And here I will firstly search for the Pabli Connect webhooks add-on. But you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account because I have already created several automations. Okay, But you will have to install this add-on firstly if you are connecting it for the first time because after that you will have to open the same add-on from here yes after installing it you will find the same add-on here directly click on this initial setup and here exactly we will be pasting the same webhook url which we have just received via Pabli connect okay so let me paste the same and then it will ask you the trigger column so first read the instructions that is the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to provide a column name 
on filling of which this automation should trigger or we can say the data will be sent to webhook url automatically and we have received this webhook url from pably connect so basically our data will be sent to pably connect for which it is already waiting you can notice waiting for the webhook response okay so here you can notice my data will go up to b column because i have added only two columns so the last data entry column is b so i have added the same clicking on the send test and you will notice that first row data will be sent successfully coming back to my pably connected dashboard and you will notice that the same spreadsheet row data will be received here as a response okay so let me show you the details one by one here we have the same trigger column the same title of article writing the same spreadsheet name that is topics for article writing and yes it is the same spreadsheet name here we have the spreadsheet id the sheet name the sheet id the row index and image to be inserted how about i even show you this image that what exactly we are planning to post okay so this is going to be the image and this is going to be the title that is social media marketing okay let me close the same okay so in this way the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our google sheets and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will add any new row in this google sheets that data will be sent to pably connect automatically and instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i'll show you how using the same title and image url you can generate a post so selecting the action event that is this chat gpt and just like i have connected google sheets with pably connect now i will be connecting open ai with the pably connect and if you are already logged in in your open ai account you can direct Directly click on this hyperlink and it will redirect you to the API keys pages. Okay, from here you can actually create a new key, a new API key. In my case, I have already created several keys. So how about I use the existing key? Okay, so going with the existing connection. In your case, you will have to click on this button, generate that key, and paste the same key here. Okay, so clicking on save, and in this way, my OpenAI account will be. also connected with the pably connect and the very first thing it will ask you to select the ai model so i am using the free version of open ai so i'll select this 3.5 version gpt 3.5 turbo if you have a paid version you can also go with gpt 4 ai model further it is going to ask you the prompt basically the instruction the command that is what exactly you want this open ai to be done okay currently i would like to create the content for these google business profile post so i will be adding the instruction related to that so how about i write something like write a content on this topic okay hyphen and here i am going to provide the same topic the same spreadsheet topic and remember we have already captured the google sheets data as a response of our trigger step and the interesting thing is i am not going to manually copy this article and paste below again and again yes i am not going to manually add these topics for every new spreadsheet row i am going to map these titles so that it can be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down so let me map the title okay so again telling you whatever the details you will map here will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time or we can say for every new row and whatever the details you will provide here manually will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values via manually and via mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now i am waiting for the response to be created here and in that response i am expecting the content and here you can notice under this choices zero message content you can notice the article okay this is the content which open ai has generated for us but you can notice this is quite a lengthier content but whenever you post something on Google business profile it has a limit of 1500 characters okay i'm repeating this thing once again that it has a limit of 1500 characters so how about i 
mention the same that the content should not exceed the limit of okay let me add a full stop and this content should not exceed the word limit of let's say 200 words okay well i think 1500 characters is something related to 300 words so i am taking the example of 200 words okay so how about i click on this button once again and then i will check what response it is actually generating for me whether it has minimized the length of the content okay fingers crossed waiting for the response and once again the content is generated let me check for the content and here we have four paragraph content okay so how about i proceed with the same or you can do one more thing you can check the character count of this article this content in any free online tool okay so now the presence of this data clearly shows that the second step of our automation is also working absolutely fine now moving further i'll show you how you can pass that auto generated content in google business profile so you will have to go with this create call to action post yes select this action event then click on connect then click on add a new connection click on this button and then provide the access of your account using which you have created your google business profile but because i have provided this access multiple times so i am going with the existing connection clicking on save and in this way my google business profile will be immediately connected with the pabli connect and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the account name i have the same account name has been fetched here let me even show you the business profile yes my business profile is actually with the same name that is parampara and here you can find the same even the location has detected here automatically and all these fields are required asking for the summary so here exactly i am going to provide the summary of the post which again i will do with the help of mapping and again mapping is very simple click on that field and you will find the above data here in the drop down select that data and in this way it will be mapped further it is asking for the topic type so i'll go with the standard one only asking for the action type basically what action you are creating here so we are creating the post okay and what should be the action so i want that this learn more option should available here should visible here so i'm selecting the same and now it is asking enter the the url for the action url is not needed for the action type call okay so basically it is asking to provide the url so that whenever your user click on this learn more option it will redirect you to that specific page that specific blog okay so how about i add some random link okay i'm picking up the same link that is a top benefit of marketing automation and then i am going to paste the same url here okay i am adding some random link some random url here you will have to add the relevant url basically the url on which you really want to redirect your users asking for the language code well i am leaving it blank because it is not a mandatory field if you want you can provide like for english you can add this en asking for the media format whether you want to post some photo or not so yes i want that along with the post an image should also be visible here so i have selected the same and lastly it is asking for that media source url basically photo url okay so i think i have already captured this image url from my google sheets data so how about i directly map the same all right it is done now fingers crossed because i am about to click on this button and if the response is positive that means my post has generated automatically in my google business profile well it is saying 400 error and it is saying invalid argument i will have to check what it is saying image format is not supported here i'll have to check what is this format all about give me a second well the image extension is not relevant i think i should provide either jpeg or png format okay so going to my spreadsheet and i will have to check well this is also w be all right and here i have this jpg format so let me show you let me paste this particular url here for now i am adding it manually but make sure that you add your image urls either in png or jpeg format okay so let me paste the same and clicking on this button once again fingers crossed waiting for the 
response once again and this time i'm really expecting that it will post it will create a post automatically and here you can notice the response is received and this response seems positive to me so going back to my google business profile and let me first refresh it and now i am waiting for that post to be created and here you can notice 11 seconds ago this is the same content that is social media marketing is a form of online marketing that utilizes various social media okay let me check whether it is the same content or not and yes it is the same content social media is a marketing is a form of online marketing that utilizes various social medias platform okay here you can find it is the same content okay so in this way with the help of public connect you can automate the process of creating these posts you do not have to do anything manually once this workflow is ready inside your dashboard okay once it is ready sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually you can even close this dashboard because every time you are going to add a new spreadsheet row that data will be picked automatically and open ai is going to generate the content on that topic and the same thing will be posted here automatically but to automate this process you will have to make sure that you enable the send on event option okay if you will click on that option this tick mark will be added here and this is going to ensure that every time a new row is inserted is getting inserted in our google sheets it should be sent to Pabli connect automatically that is the meaning of the send on happening of any event i hope you have understood and another small tip i would like to give you here is whenever you connect your google sheets with Pabli connect make sure that either you work in the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab otherwise you will get the authentication error and you won't be able to send the google sheets data to public connect so i hope you have understood everything and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your public connect account i will also attach the workflow link in my description box so click on this link sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video